Hi everyone, I'm Leona from Artist Resource. Happy Halloween! Today we're going to make this really cool, ah, scary old ladies mask. Woo, really great for the kids and really, really easy to do. Okay, so what you're going to need is some cardboard, newspaper, some masking tape, a pencil, scissors, a cutting knife, some elastic, a cutting mat, some paint brushes, blue tack, paints, acrylic paints I've got, some water in a little tub, some tissues and something to mix your paints in and that's everything you need. Okay so let's get started. Now get the piece of cardboard and what you want to do is you want to roughly measure your face and it's really easy to do that. Did you know that your hand is almost the same size as your face. So all you need to do is get your hand. So you wanna draw around your hand roughly about an inch, like this. You wanna do, don't worry about doing a perfect, perfect oval. It doesn't matter. Just roughly like that. Easily done. All right, so. Then what you want to do is you want to divide your face up. So just put a line through and a line through to make it into quarters. And then just put another line and another line so you get in quarters there. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this is where you need to put your eyes in. So roughly put your eyes in just above the halfway mark there. And then you need to put a little hole for the mouth. So I would do just underneath that line there. Just a tiny hole. You know, just a little one there. And so then we're going to cut that out. You can use the scissors or you can use the cutting knife. I'm going to use the cutting knife because I find it a bit easier. Make sure you've got the cutting mat underneath when you do this. That's it, and that should pop out. There you go. And then you want to cut your eyes out. Little cut. And obviously, if you're making this with a child, parents, you want to be cutting all this bit out first before the child starts to decorate it. All right, so once you've got your basic shape, right, so now we've got our basic mask ready, we need to build it up with the newspaper and get all the different shapes, but we've got to draw it first. So we get the pencil, an old angry Halloween lady, not just a normal. Whenever you do an eyebrow, you need to do it, an angry eyebrow, you need to do it on a real big slant like that. That makes it look a bit evil or nasty. And then you want to do the bags, the wrinkles under the eyes. Lots of wrinkles. And then we'll put the nose in. The nose will do like a nice big nose. We're going to build that up, so don't worry about drawing it in perfectly because we're going to build that up. And then we're going to do a big angry growly mouth. So we'll put that in and then we'll put two big teeth in as well. Oh, that's scary. We'll put that in, a little bit of a chin going on. We could do, make it look a bit thinner on the sides and also put some wrinkles on the forehead. And that's good. I think that's good enough and ready to start building it up with the newspaper. So let's get some newspaper and you start crunching it up and you just want to start getting the shape. Oh, this might be too big. It's too big, so we'll rip that off. Start getting the shape that you want of the eyebrow. And just keep pressing it in. This is really good for children. Really good for children um, age sort of 6 to 11 is absolutely perfect. But if they're younger or older, I'm sure they'll have fun with it as well. And then you just get bits of masking tape and you just start securing it on like this don't worry about it looking perfect it's not going to look perfect yet we need to kind of shape it so that happens over time so we'll do that and if you get it over the eye just poke it around like that so you don't don't block the eye okay so that's your eyebrows done Whoa, scary all right so if you put any masking tape over your drawing, you can just quickly go back over it again so you know where your lines are at the top there. Right, let's do the nose, because that's the main bit. The nose is like a big fat triangle. So just get your newspaper, crunch it up, 
and make a kind of a triangle shape. Okay, so get your triangle shape, stick it down at first, don't worry about how it's looking. Just get that triangle down and then, because this is an old lady, a bit like a witch almost, you want to make her nose really gnarly and big and massive and ugly. So, you've got to build up the nose till it really sticks out. Let's have a huge nose. Huge nose, let's do it. So, build it up and you can see, put the tape on there. Then you want to get some little bits on the sides to make it more realistic and not just a big triangle. You want to do the bits on the side of your nose, just where your nostrils are. And that gives it a really cool shape. So just press down that masking tape. Get another bit on the side there. So it's almost like a little ball on the side like that. And obviously push it through there. Push it through there and stick it on the back. So there we go, we're getting a really nice shape now. And again, as the eyebrows, just make sure you're covering all the newspaper up so you can't see any secure all the way under there pushing it through there a little bit more tape love it that nose is looking great okay with the mouth you want to roll up a piece like this piece of newspaper and just bend it round pinch it in and then get some small pieces of masking tape and secure, secure it down first. Push through the mouth hole, push around there, and then secure this all the way around. Right, and then you want to make the teeth. Now, with the teeth, get some small pieces of newspaper, scrunch them up in a bit of a triangle shape, similar to the nose, but a lot smaller, obviously nice triangle there so you're going to kind of put one in there and then another one push that right down and it's good to have the tooth coming a bit away from the mouth as well looks good we like that we like that all right i'm happy with that it's all nice and secure so we've got a couple more things to do we've got to do the wiggly lines here we've got to do these lines and we've got to do the moles. I can't believe I forgot to put the moles in. We've got to have some moles. You could even do a mole on the nose if you want. So if you wanted to, you could just do wrinkles all over the old lady's face and make it the wrinkliest old lady in the universe. All right, so we're all done. We finished the main structure. All we need to do now is just pierce the holes quickly so we can attach the elastic. So get your scissors, obviously an adult do this. No children be involved in scissors like this. Now you need to get a bit of blue tack, just put it underneath where you're gonna put the hole. Get the scissors, being really careful and just poke a hole into the cardboard. And do the same on the other side. It's just under the eye and near the edge, not right on the edge. All right, so there's your holes. Now you want to get your elastic and poke it through the holes. The easiest way to do this is again with the scissors, just pushing it through. And you need to just tie a little knot in the end. Obviously, whoever you're with, you need to make sure that you're wrapping it around their face so you get the right amount of tension. All right, so there we go. We've got our elastic ready and now we're ready to give it some paint. So you've got red, yellow, blue and black and white, that's all you need. We've got quite a lot of white actually. So we're just going to make up a skin colour. So we're going to do white, yellow and a tiny bit of red. Just keep on mixing it until you get the colour that you like. That's a little bit pink, so we're going to add lots more white to that I think. Lots more, lots more until we get the colour we like. So the great thing about this is it's not like paper mache where paper mache takes forever to dry. All we need to do here is just stick it on and it's just there, it's ready. And acrylic paint dries in about 10 minutes. 
So if you've got to be really quick, you're going to go out and do your trick or treating, you could do this in the afternoon and you'd be ready. And then when you've got a nice brown, you can mix it with a bit of white to get it a bit lighter. Until you've got the kind of brown you like. I quite like that brown, that's quite nice for me. So with this brown, actually I'm going to get a thinner paintbrush. And I'm going to do all the bits. So I'm going to draw the chin in there. The eyes, the wrinkles under the eyes there. Now I'm doing this now, but you could always wait till one layer dries and then do the next layer if you like. And then we're going to get a slightly darker brown and do the mole and everything. So let's get the mole done. Two nice big moles and then I'm going to get an even dark I'm going to add some black into it now just to get it really dark and we're going to do the eyebrows lots of lines for the eyebrows the old lady and then we'll put the same black we'll do some nostrils so get those nostrils in there and we also need to do the blacks of the mouth now let's do the lips get that red there and make it a bit of a darker red not a not a bright red get a darker red Put all that around the mouth. Look at that, it's looking great. <gasps> around the eyes, you can keep building it up depending on how much time you've got or how creative you want to be. You could spend more time on it, but I think that's all we're going to do for today. So, let's get it on. So there you go, so we've finished. How good is that? <laughs> Have a really happy Halloween. So that's it for Ice Resource for today. Don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe and I'll see you next time.